So how, how's this run been going? It's been, uh, you've been on the road for a little while now. You were in Milwaukee last night. Yeah, it's been, it's been wicked, yeah. actually. Yeah, really, really cool shows, cool people, cool venues. Yeah. Uh, tonight. So you guys are from Oxford, England, collectively. However, you spent time growing up in Texas. I did, yeah. Um, how, did, how did that work? Yeah. How did you yeah, end up in Oxford? Get mixed looks. Okay. When I, say that. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a couple popping up. Um, yeah, uh, I kind of followed my dad around when I was a kid. He was a uh, he was a, he worked with animals, um, so yeah, followed him around to where the animals were. <laughs> and there are a lot of them well, in Texas. What what kind of animals? Uh, so in, he he worked on sea slugs. <laughs> sea. There are sea slugs sea in slugs. Texas. Yeah, there's a you place called Galveston in Texas yes. that yep. has um, that has a bit of ocean. Yeah. So, so what were these years? What years were you? Uh, I must have been about seven to eleven. Or okay. Seven to twelve, maybe. So, was there any influences there that yeah. like you bring to the band now, or was it just yeah, kind of like the a hardcore weird hardcore country scene? Yeah, because you can hear you can hear that obviously <laughs> comes straight through. No. Uh, that's why we write all those songs about trucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's uh, th there was actually there was there were a lot of country stations in Texas, but there was also a hip hip hop station, um, and I listened to that because I I wasn't that into the country stuff. No offense to any country fans, but um, yeah, so I I listened to a lot of hip hop when I was in Texas. That's the main the main influence. Sure. Uh, now the first record Zabo had a very it was a vibey record. Was that intentional? Did you like go like we're gonna make a record that's got this this really cool slinky vibe, or is that just just what brought you guys all together? Just that sound. I know what came out. Yeah, we were in the studio. I don't know. We just started making noises, and that's what that's what came out. Yeah, it, there's no other way to explain that. And then, yeah, it was a bit it was a bit unplanned. It wasn't like we wanted to sound a bit like this, a bit ambient, like right. Massive Attack or something. No, it was just we we sat down, and started making noise. That's what came out, and. We were a bit shy when we, you know, we'd never made a record before. None of us had been in bands before. So I think that also lent itself to the, those kind of softer sounds. Sure. Now the new record, which is out now, How to Be a Human Being, it's a little bit more upbeat, up-tempo, I suppose, than the uh, first record. Yeah. Was that intentional or did that, again, what just came out? Yeah, again, I think it was a kind of subconscious thing. But, it, you know, we made that first record and then we went out and toured it for two years and we became a lot more comfortable making music and being on stage and we started to appreciate those big noises that sound awesome out of big PA systems and I think subconsciously that definitely wove itself in right um, and also we, we were touring so much meeting all of these people we wanted to write about people and um, you can't yeah that kind of lent itself to the sound as well when you start writing about people I think things have to be a bit rawer and grittier right 